and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about version, file history and file revisions. So, one of the biggest things that I really like about Dropbox is its ability to keep track of multiple versions of a file. So, if you're uh, into HTML programming, for example, or programming in general, or if you are modifying a uh, files on a regular basis, making changes to them. Um, having backups of those changes is important, especially like uh, I found personally, that this is just my personal uh, thing that I like, is when I was doing programming, uh, PHP programming and things like that, uh, I would save my files often. I make some changes save, make changes save, make changes save, and I did that constantly and what I really liked is that when I used Dropbox it kept a copy of that all the time so I'll show you an example here I've went into this file and I modified it a couple times so I just went in and added a number and saved it so every time you see here it's updating every time you save a file it uploads that file to Dropbox and keeps it synced so this we discussed this before that Every, everything that you put in your Dropbox is synced. Any changes you make to your files are synced. So it keeps everything the same. But Dropbox goes one step further. Dropbox actually show, actually keeps a copy of your files. So if I right click on this file, I have an option there for version history. If I click on that, it'll go ahead and bring up Dropbox on my browser and show me the versions of this file that I have. You can do the same thing here by right clicking and choose view version history. It shows you the exact same information. But as you noticed here, you have the option to restore. So if I've been making changes, making changes, making changes, and then I realized I messed something up. I went ahead and saved the file and exited out of changes that I didn't want to take effect. Like I was testing something and then I exit and I meant to say don't save but I hit save instead. Well if you go on here and choose right click and choose views version history here or go online and choose version history you can go back and restore one of those previous versions. So as you can see when I uh, updated this one I added a 4 so I'm going to go back here and choose the original one. If you click on it if it's if it's supported Dropbox will give you a preview of the file you can download it so you can have a separate copy of it or you can just say restore and it will restore that file so I'm going to go ahead and restore it now as you can see this file is now updating on my Dropbox and now it's updated if I go ahead and update it, open it as you can see the number 4 I added here is now gone I'm back to the previous version of that file so this is great if you think about it you're working away on a file and you make a mistake you know yourself sometimes you uh, have a brain fart and you close the app and say yes to changes when you meant to say no and then there's there's nothing you can do you save the changes well if you had your file in Dropbox then there's no big deal you go grab the previous version of the file download it or restore it and you're uh, back in business again so this is a major benefit of Dropbox that I personally see just as much as uh, keeping your files synced between the other computers. I think this is a very good benefit. So I hope you enjoyed this as well. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.